Oh, there's a fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Holy cow. What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here and welcome back to another episode of the Weird Lure Challenge. Today's video is going to be featuring a bait that I recently found and bought off Amazon. And it looks like nothing that I've ever seen. It is a topwater iguana. And uh, when I saw this, I was very intrigued. It was pretty expensive. I think it was around $15, so it was not cheap. I'm hoping that I did not waste my money. So I'm gonna be using this today to hopefully catch some bass. As with any bait that I purchase off Amazon, I am always very excited to see what it actually looks like in the water. This one may be a little bit more so than others because it was so expensive, but I have pretty high hopes. Let's see what it looks like, first cast. So obviously this is a top water lure, but it actually goes a little bit subsurface. As far as the action, it has a really cool swimming action in the water, kind of like a snake or I guess a lizard. I don't really have any lizards around here that go swimming in the water. So I, I uh, don't think that's gonna be a huge issue, but as far as the action goes, I think it looks really cool in the water. It also has a rattle. I think that's gonna help out in this mighty water. I'm gonna go try to find some shade and uh, hopefully catch a fish. All right, guys, I found some shade right up here along the dam. I'm gonna work this lizard through that shade and see if I can get a bass to go for it. Oh, dang, just had my first bite. I skipped it underneath this little tree. Something went for it. I had one bite, but that is about it. Changed up locations. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch a fish before the day is over. I may switch over to my ultralight setup, fish with that for a little bit, and then once uh, the top water bite starts to heat up, I'm gonna throw this lizard back out there because this thing, I could just tell, will catch a ton of fish, but uh, I, uh, I don't think right now is the optimal time to be fishing top water. I'm gonna start out with this little Rebel crawfish crankbait and just crank it along these rocks to see if I can catch, uh, hopefully a bass, but I will take anything at this point. So here we go, first cast. Ooh, I just had a bass chase it, darn it. There we go, first fish. Oh, little bass. All right, I will take it. First catch of the day. Been out here for a couple hours. Feels good to finally catch something, even though it is a tiny little bass. See you later, buddy. Holy cow, that scared me. Something came up at the last second. Missed it though. Dang. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, I think it's a bass. Oh, that's a pretty nice one. Okay, here we go. Please stay hot. Dang. Holy cow. I've only got four pound test, so I am at the mercy of this fish. <laughs> I'm hoping he doesn't come off. Oh, it's a big one. Yes. Oh my gosh. This dude is chunky. Dang. He inhaled that little crawfish crankbait. Look at the belly on this guy. Holy smokes. See you later, buddy. It feels good to finally catch a decent sized fish. Granted, it was not with the lure I was hoping to catch it on, but on the other hand, that was a lot of fun to bring on 
to bring in on my ultralight tackle. So I think I'm gonna switch back to that topwater lizard and uh, toss that around a little bit. I really wanna catch a fish using that lizard today, so I'm gonna get to it. I switched back to the lizard. Let's see if I can catch a bass. Back to the little crawfish. There we go, fish on. Oh, bluegill. Oh, see you later, buddy. Goes from catching a nice bass to a, to a little bluegill. Gotta love the versatility of these micro crankbaits. Oh, there we go. All right, another little bass. See you later, buddy. Oh, there's a fish. Holy cow, this guy crushed it. Dang. <laughs> this blue hail absolutely destroyed this little crankbait. That was awesome. Very cool looking bluegill. See you later, buddy. All right, lizard, here we go. Oh, there's a fish. Dang. See you later, buddy. It is currently 7.23. PM. So the top water bite should be picking up right now. I'm gonna switch over to this lizard and see if I can catch some bass. All right, here we go. Oh, there we go. Dang, biggest bluegill of the day. This guy is chunky. Holy smokes. See you later, buddy. Holy cow. Dang, back to back big bluegill. This one's even bigger. Oh, see you later, buddy. Today has not exactly gone as planned. I was hoping to catch some fish using that topwater lizard, but uh, the whole theme of today has been ultralight fishing, of course, which uh, I'm not complaining about. I'm glad I was at least able to catch fish using my ultralight. I am still optimistic top water is should be picking up right now so hopefully I'll be able to accomplish that oh darn had a bite oh, dang it dang it dang it dang it dang Oh, there's a fish. Yes, fish on. There we go. <laughs> Finally got a fish with a lizard. Not as big as I was hoping, but I will take it. Oh, see you later, buddy. I was finally able to catch a bass using that topwater lizard. It has taken quite some time, but I finally completed that goal. My only hope is that not only will I be able to catch another one, but I will be able to catch a bigger one before I run out of daylight. So I'm gonna get back to it. Oh, there's a fish. No, he's off, dang it. Oh. Just had another strike, but I was uh, trying to navigate a snag when it hit. Darn. Unfortunately, I am out of time. I was not able to catch that big fish using the lizard, but I was able to at least catch one. As far as fishing goes, it was pretty slow, but the ultralight was definitely the way to go as I caught the one and really only good fish today using that little micro crawfish crankbait. So I will link all of the lures I used down in the description for you guys that are interested, but I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you in the next one. That was awesome. 
Very cool looking bluegill. 